You know how the you know how potholes are made? Like especially ones this size class. You know how they're made? It's when your mom takes a seat right there. All right, Ryan at night with a very loud machine. We've got a green light, got a left turner. Good job with the progressive braking. Did a good job with his planning. He located that hazard and we're moving on with our day. How did he film that? His head was like all over the place. So we're gonna go through here. Now this is an automatic orange stage. We need to be paying attention to this, okay? It's an intersection. It's We need to be prepped and ready for anything that could be happening. So we're gonna get through here. He applied good progressive brake pressure to allow that person through. And then we got the rev bomb that makes no change in the situation, scenario, situation. Doesn't work. Uh, he's already out of it. So why are you rev bombing? Okay, move on. Don't do that, Edward Z. No. And then this Shadow. Is, so his exit on his phone. Gonna have a lot of fun going 100, 100 miles an hour. This reaction. Yeah, do 100. 100 miles an hour, full gear. Okay, this is a street Rossi. This is a street Rossi. Oh, he couldn't make the turn though. Yeah. You can go straight pretty fast. Can't even make an off ramp. All that speed does so well, especially the sport bike. It's like almost, it's almost like sport bikes were designed only to go straight and then like cruisers are meant for turning. Is that right? Well, he's making it sound like, I mean, he's not, he's not even turning though on the sport bike. It's still, sport bikes are better for turning. I don't fucking know. I, don't, I have no clue. I don't know what I'm talking His about. His phone at the very last moment leading to a nervous reaction. You know what he should have done? Full body lean with a knee down. Because that's when you need it at this speed on a turn like this. Didn't do slow press and roll. So no 10. Remember for six months, Papa's still going. Thought I was going to miss it. Nope. We have a full class every Friday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. now. All right. 56, 7 to 80 miles an hour. Bikes. The Night Stalker. Side of the vehicle. Did a nice swerve. Good job with the red stage maneuver and got himself out of that situation. Yeah, 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 Gang, gang. He's talking about his Cardo Pack Talk with his buddy with no gear. Not very smart with the gear selection, but pretty smart with the, the headset. Is that, are we just going to listen to this? Is this all it is, Moto Stars? Oh, I guess there's more. Here we go. Bikes the Night Stalker a little bit later hits somebody because he wasn't paying attention at all. All right. So we have to kind of watch how he's how he's riding. I guess that was context. I'm sorry. So Bikes the uh, Night Stalker. Uh, we have some issues. Let's go ahead and talk about them. All right. So originally we had that issue of that side of the vehicle. Now we're going to have this new issue. We're going pretty fast for this area. 74 miles per hour. I doubt this is a 70, 80 mile an hour road. Because we had to slow it down to 50, right? We had to slow down to 50 to get in the flow of traffic. So I think we're speeding a little bit, buddy. He's looking down at his mirror, probably looking for his buddy. So I don't think he does have a cardo system. I don't think he has one because if he did, he could just talk to him instead of looking at his friend. So what's happening here is that we're having to slam the brakes because we weren't paying attention. You notice how we went to 50 to 35 and then yoink. Uh, we impacted behind the vehicle. So what stage do you think this rider is in? Let me know in the comments what stage you think this rider is in. I'm going to tell you right now, I believe he was a little bit white staged in this situation. Not very smart when it comes to riding on a motorcycle. Also not very smart, not wearing gear. Nice shoes. You guys got matching okay. shoes and socks. It must be a club thing or a Power Ranger thing. I don't know. All right, Lone Star Rider, so probably in California, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, good job with the braking. I'm worried about people behind me braking at the same time. I'm not concerned about that driver. Probably found an escape path, wasn't paying attention, and had to do that because their total stopping distance wasn't the best. So let's take a quick look at what happened there. So we got that car way up ahead. That's going to be the car that is going to be the problem, right? And so he had to do a, a quick brake and a swerve. So the car found an escape path. The car found an escape path. The car driver was probably white staged, wasn't paying attention. Now this motorcycle rider, so Lone Star Rider, I don't know why you're in here in remedial training with me. Let's go and get that out of the screen. 
Because you did a great job. You were a pretty damn good, smart rider. You were situationally aware, recognized that there was a hazardous situation. You planned your ride really, really well. You located the hazard. You saw a bunch of brake lights. You went into automatic orange stage. But the reason why you were able to go into orange stage wasn't because you were white staged. It was because you were completely zoned into the situation. You were relaxed, prepared. You know, you were aware. And you had really good situational awareness. Because of that, you did the right thing. And look how, look how much of a non-issue this is. Great job, Lone Star Rider. I was kidding about the California thing, by the way. I know Texans don't like Californians right now. I made that joke without thinking. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, we got Cool Breeze Rider again, baby. Ninja Rider takes corner too fast and corner ends up in a ditch in Escondido. I don't know why I had that accent. Anyways, he's listening to Spotify. Uh, our buddy's going to go a little too fast. And he crashed, but now we're all going to, once again, rescue another rider. What happened, Dylan? I think the best way is back. Yeah, Dylan. Go back. Okay? Damn it, Dylan. Yeah, I think it's... Causing more problems Our again. sidewalls, because they're brand new. Did you stay on there? He's, he's like, I'm just chilling. What, what are you guys doing? Well, I, mean, it, it's I, I, I just parked here. What are you talking about? I'm just going to hang out. You guys can keep going. I'll catch up. Don't worry. It, no, it's, it, that, it does that. It does that sometimes. We're okay. Thank you. Yeah. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. All right, so we're just, just guide it this way. and just He probably was really low on, on blinker fluid. Not here. It's too steep, bro. Over Thanks for watching till the end. So cool breeze. Cool breeze. Once we get once we get our book out, the rescue booklet. I'm gonna send you a book, cool breeze. This is the rough draft. I was I was making edits to it. So those of you that, that ride with cool breeze or no cool breeze or just even watch them. Comment on his channel and say, hey, Dan Dan wants to talk to you. Dan Dan wants to, to, to send you a rescue booklet once they become available. He wants to make sure that the people he rides with is safe. All right? So uh, maybe have him go to the Discord. That'd be kind of cool. Discord is free, by the way. Discord is absolutely free. But remember, we do have the rescue kits and the Smart Rider Basic Training eBooks available right now. They're on sale. So please, please, please grab one. Real quick, I'd like to say thank you to Cardo for sponsoring this channel. I'm actually using their cool little headset thingy thing so I can talk to my kids on their Cardo Pack Talks. Make sure you guys grab yourself a Cardo Pack Talk. Bold, slim, free com, whatever you want. With the link in the description, you get a discount. Anyways, let's get back. All right, Angel Cortez. All right, so we're riding around. We do have uh, a phone, not on the rock form. I get it, I know. They're getting a vibration dampener, though, by the way. Oh, we hit a bump. We hit a pothole. Did we damage our bike? Yeah, pull over. Check your rim. Check your tire. Last thing you want to do is, is try to ride home without even looking. The best... I wouldn't pull over here because we got that... We got that barrier. I would have pulled off right here. If that was the... Go ahead and apply the brakes a little bit. We're going 100. That's no way. This has got to be... So Angel Cortez, what happened here? Why are we? Why are you in remedial training for this one? I don't think this was really your fault. We're riding. Okay, now I understand. You didn't see the road surface hazard until last second, and then you hit. Okay, that makes sense. Big pothole. Big pothole. You didn't see it till last second. Ooh, baby. You know how the you know how potholes are made, like especially ones this size class. Do you know how they're made? It's when your mom takes a seat right there. All right, we're going to hit that bump and uh, the crater, really. And we're trying to pull over, but we got some damage probably. You got a little freakiness, maybe some damage to that front tire. Maybe the suspension starts feeling a little wonky. Maybe we popped the tire and we're starting to shake a little bit. So applying some rear brake pressure just to slow us down, downshifting everything smoothly. Be as careful as possible. But I would be pulling over here 
just because you don't have a big shoulder. Um, but if you are going to, one thing you can do is hop off the bike after you look at it and just, if you have to call a, uh, a tow service, get on the other side of the guardrail. Oh, yeah. Wow, Paolo Rozo. Idiot driver pulls out in front of a motorcycle. Okay, let's see what happens. We're riding in the middle though. I don't know how long we need to stay there. And that person did not see you. They just did not see you. Inattentional blindness could have been the factor here. Uh, do we have a text thing for inattentional blindness? No, we do not. This one bike second. Is... One, one second. Rookies, how come you're not putting the text pop-up for inattentional blindness? All right, I guess we have to do it in post. Uh, let's go back just a little bit. So we're going to pull over here. Look how far away we are, are kind of hanging out there. Uh, the driver that's going to turn left in front of us probably didn't see us because look how far away we got into that middle turn lane. Let's go ahead and do it a little bit later and then practice slowing down. Uh, I know I get it. We're slowing down. We're going to make this turn on this beautiful Indian. And this person is going to come out in front of us. Okay. It's going to be a no bueno. He, he did the right thing was straighten it up. So look at he's turning and he's like, oh, crap. Now he applies the brakes. So good progressive brake pressure was was needed Jesus in that spot. Christ. So he's gonna check his pants once he pulls over here and we should be good to go. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you wanna check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so, it supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way, check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.